Do you know that laundry business is one of the best business anyone can start with as slow as 300,000 naira, despite the cost of things? Do you know that a lot of persons don't have that time to sit down and wash their clothes? This is a lucrative business. In today's video, we are going to carry out a deep analysis on how you can run this business and make profit. Is the business profitable? How much can you make a day? How much can you make a month? What and what do you really need to set up this business? What are the factors? What are those things that you need to consider in order to succeed in this business? These are many more we are going to consider in this video. Consider subscribing, click on that notification bell. Don't forget to drop your comment, like this video, share this, or recommend this channel to your friends. Let's take a quick look at the tools that we need, the equipment we need for this business. Number one, we, we need a washing machine, the open top. The washing machine should be the open top because it will be easy to, you know, add some detergent and other chemicals that you will use in washing so we are going to buy the 5 kg which is 80,000 naira 80,000 naira for the 5 kg open top washing machine and then we need a generator 4.5 kV, which will cost us 107,000 naira we'll also need steam iron 10,000 naira ironing board let's estimate 10,000 it could be less it could be more than that and then we look at the clothing the clothes drying rack, let's estimate 10,000 because we may buy two. And then let's look at the waste bin for, you know, you can put in, select some of the clothes and then put in there. So we will get the one of 3,000 Naira. Total will give us 220,000 Naira. But apart from the equipment, we will also need these ones to enable us to run the business smoothly. Number one is the stash, you, you know, how fast stash will go in a, you know this laundry business two we have the detergent we cannot do without it we need packaging nylon after washing we need to package it well then fan for some cooling then we need stain remover we will need a tagging paper to enable us you know differentiate the clothes this is some this is social persons or this is social persons and that way you you will not mix up clothes then we have baking soda for special washing those that are into the business or you have acquired the skill, we know the, the importance of this baking soda. Now, total will give us 50,000. Let's estimate 50,000 naira for all these things. Remember, our first calculation, we, we had 220,000. Now, if we add this, this plus this will give us 270,000 naira. This is what we need to start our business, at least. With this, we can start laundry business. Now, we have not include rent yet. If we include rent as this 15,000 Naira for rent, that will give us 285,000. So let's just estimate, total estimated amount should be just 300,000 Naira. Let's make it up. 300,000 Naira. Let's make it a round figure. Now, let's take a quick look at the clothes. The amount we have to charge and as a beginner how much you should charge this is the conventional way this is the amount everyone is charging those that have gained customers those that have enough customers those that have started a business before you this is the amount they charge per item or per clothes and then this is the amount i advise that you should charge this is the amount so let's look at it for a pair of trousers normally it's 400 naira you are giving 100 naira discount so in most of these clothes you should give that 100 naira discount that is why if you look at it from here that you can see the 100 naira discount now for jeans they normally charge 1500 but as a beginner you can give a discount of 300 naira and uh, you know do it for 1200 for chinos it's always 350 you can take 300 naira for a wedding gown 3,600 Naira. Yeah, you can take 3,005, you know, or even 3,000 as a beginner. Sometimes you just sacrifice. You have to sacrifice in order to retain customers. So you have, you take this, and then for polo, and uh, it's 300 Naira, you charge 200 because it's easy to wash. Then for Agbada, 1,5, you still charge 1,5 because this is very tough to wash. It's, let's assume that in a day we are able to have four pairs of trousers 
and if pray 300 naira, this will give us 1,200. And then we were also able to have a t shirt five in number, which is 250 naira. This will give us a total of 1,250 naira and get up to five senators, which will give us 3,000 naira. Now, because it's at 600 naira per one, so it will give us 3,000 naira. Now, let's look at another thing that is so popular the jeans. So, the jeans we can charge. 350 naira normally but we are charging 300 naira this will give us 900 if we are able to wash three and then another popular one is the polo so the polo is 200 naira let's assume that we have six that will give us 1200 now if we total this will give us 7550 naira so this will give us the amount remember that in our estimation we included washing machine so washing these clothes this number of clothes will never be a problem we've come to realize that we can make 7550 naira a day now some days you may be able to make this some days you may make more than this some days you will not be able to make this and so we should take this as average now Let's assume that after raising this amount, we spend 1,000 naira for fuel to run the ironing and you know the washing machine. Now, let's assume that we spend 1,200 for detergent. We also spend 1,000 naira for nylon. For nylon. And then the total will give us 3,200 naira. So if we spend this, and then we raise this, this minus this amount, will give us 4,350 Naira as our balance for the day. That is the profit for the day. This is the amount we are sure of raising for the day. Now, some days may be high, some days may be low. So let's use that figure as an average. Now, let's assume that we work for 25 days. If we are able to work for 25 days, this will give us this amount 4,350 times 25 will give us 108,750 Naira per month after subtracting these amounts. So after subtracting the money for fuel, money for detergent and nylon, we arrive at this amount for the month. There are civil servants that are not earning this. I tell you, there are a lot of people that go out every day well dressed with a file going to the office, they are not making this. And so if you step into the business, you are sure of making at least, no matter how bad it is, you are sure of making 50,000. Let's assume you say, you know, the business is not moving as usual as expected. So if we, you, you saw the, the number of clothes we, can, we estimated, of which those figures are real, those, those figures are achievable. So the list, cannot be more uh, less than this. I mean, there are factors that will affect either to increase this or to reduce it. And the first thing, the first factor that can determine your success or failure in this business is number one, location. If you cite a business where there are peasant farmers or, you know, poor people in a local, very local area, where they use their hands to wash their clothes. You will not have enough customers. Now, if you site your business in advanced area, in a well-developed area in the city, the part of the city that is populated, and uh, also if you site your business close to a university, you are sure of having customers. So this location can affect the amount you make a day or a month. Number two, the quality of service. The quality of service you know some dry cleaner just like tailors they will if you give them the clothes today they will tell you tomorrow it will be ready if you go there the next week it's not ready the, the poor service people will complain some will quarrel and all kind of excuses they will give 
and they will not deliver when we need the clothes, when the person needs the clothes. So for you to conquer that, you need to render good service. You need to plan for you to get this amount. You need your service must be standard. If you tell the person, come tomorrow, that tomorrow the clothes should be ready and it should be well washed. Another thing is your approach, your attitude towards customers. You don't stand and insult customers and expect them to come back. So your quality of service will determine or affect your success. Number three is the price. That is why initially I decided to, you know, reduce the price. Where they are charging 400, we reduce it to 300. Where they are charging 15, reduce it to 1,400. That 100 Naira can make somebody pay more than 100 Naira transport to, to locate you. So it's a business secret. That is the gate. So you should, your price should be moderate. Don't charge too high. You should charge just in a way that you make a little profit. The person that, you know, come to you will smile home. You will smile to the bank. So your price will affect the amount. Don't, don't be too desperate. Don't be greedy to charge 500 where you are supposed to charge just 250 or 300 Naira. So this will go a long way in determining your profit. Number four is availability. 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 Now, do you know that in every business, not just the laundry business, if customers come today, the place is closed. Come tomorrow, is open. The next two days, is closed. You are not always available. This can destroy your business. But if you are always available, you open early, as early as 7, 8, you are open. You close maybe by 7, 8. People know that by so, so time, if I get there, I will see this man or I will see this woman. I will get him. He will do this work for me. Then you will attract more customers. But if you are not all, you know, you are not constant, you are not steady, you are not always available, customers will not come. You will be losing customers. People that try, you know, test you one day, the next time they are no longer coming. So these four factors can determine the amount you will raise a month. So as a beginner, you must carefully, you know, select your location, render quality service, deliver when you're supposed to deliver. Let your price not tear the pocket. And then you should always be available. That way, I'm sure you are sure of making this amount. I assure you. Now, before we end this video, uh, there are two things I want to let you know. Number one, you must know the type of clothes you will mix together to wash the same time. For instance, it's very wrong for you to wash the black and the white you know, cloth the same time because you're using a machine. That way, you will spoil people's clothes and you will lose customers. So, you must carefully sort them separate them if you're putting white put wash white before washing other colors so that the color will not stain the white this is very important don't just mix up things don't just do it anyhow because you're in a hurry you want to you know finish you want to deliver no you must render quality service thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe Drop your comment, your own suggestion, your own experience in the business. Do you want to step into this business? Drop your comment below and we will respond to you. We will give you the necessary assistance that you will need to succeed. Having said that, see you in our next video. Remain blessed. Continue doing business. Bye-bye.